from here. But that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. The elves continue their war. Yeah. So much for things being better in Alpha. Yikes. Thimble Winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Thimble Winter. Living desert. Huh. It was once full of life, you know. And music. The song of the sands, they called it. Gone now. Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. Pain. What do you hear? Feels like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but the Dark Elves get on best they can. Perhaps we can reach that brazier from above. There, the Temple of Light. The shrine is at the top. Good eye. By frost eyes. Is everything okay? Hi, old friend. Just putting on your chests. We'll be right along. My dad likes Lou. Ah, very well. Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? Aye, no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait. Freyr's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Truly a wonder of the Nine Realms. that. Oh. 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 
Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freyr of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. We don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. <laughs> Most unfortunate. They attacked us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist. Old friend. Tribute to Freyr, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, Freyr's. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. <laughs> Best we move on for now, brother. Don't think we have the right tools for this one. So tall. We came in from the top last time. Didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. I'll go first. Atreus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but... The realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! And here, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the Elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the Light. Solid Light. <laughs> Some things don't change. Above the door. There's a light crystal. Yes. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. It's the light. Oh. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well... That's the Lake of Souls. Yes. 
After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the Elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to the power, and thus, the Light Elves were born. Well done. Though I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased. Speaking of Light Elves, let me try talking to them again. They may Thanks just to let these two do their thing, brother. Whoa! Is that a bomb? came across on light bridges, but now the bridges are gone. I have an idea to get us across. <sighs> Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean we can't disfigure some architecture. This way, the shrine awaits. <laughs> Where are you going? He's looking around. He does this sometimes. Ah, a curious mind. Carry on. The temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to enhance the temple, and themselves by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with them? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are safe, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. Lyricism from the mind of Gracia. More light elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. Oh, there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. Here, get back. Behind 
мне брата! Get it now. Why do they keep fighting? The Dark Elves want the souls and the light left alone. But the Light Elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This is an Elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. They sure made a lot of these light doors. <laughs> Fortifications. Aye. None too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. Ripped apart by his audience. Well, one member of his audience. Well, Thor. <laughs> I suppose I'll leave you to it. <laughs> 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 They come. Do what you must. Father, watch the door. Crystals. I've noticed them on the elves as well. I wonder if this statue were to fall over the cavern. Still make light bridges. Now the light elves wear them. Smart. 
Almost there. Allow me. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? Well, at least we're getting closer. Look up. See? It feels even taller on the inside. Can't believe all this was down here. Ah! Better than us, Baba. I can't remember the last time I visited the Nords. I don't know I want to try. And here we go again. <laughs> Some twilight stone on that statue shield. That angle isn't gonna work. Do you think no! there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? Had Freyr not abandoned the realm, alas, he's made a fool. Now, can we really place all the blame on Freyr? This war started long before his arrival. He had the power to heal this land and end the war, did he not? He made his choice. The wrong one. But I'll find perhaps, but not necessarily for him. Suppose we're all entitled to walk our own path, regardless of where they end. That looks 
right? Job, brother. This way. We're almost. <clears throat> Do you still hear something wounded out there? I think so. It could just be the storm. Perhaps we can investigate, once we've uncovered a mysterious seer's hidden prophecy. There, the central chamber will bring us to the top, once we find our way past yet another light door. some soundstone up there. It pairs quite nicely with the Twilight Stone. A knack for interiors, these light elves. It's facing the wrong way. Hmm. Maybe if we... Allow me to speed this up. The angle should work, Kratos. mother inside last time but I can't anymore her soul is one with the light now united by forces older than Odin himself she is at peace Atreus I hope so when father went inside the light he said he went he... inside the light of Alfheim yes and yet here you stand of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated you must tell me Kratos what did you see that memory is for me alone I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well then, Groa's triptych awaits. So, did you ever meet Groa? Many times. But she was plagued by constant visions, so... Conversation was... Difficult, to say the least.
something. Father, she's... She's gone. We're almost there. Huh. They changed some stuff. Last time, there was all this hive stuff up here. So many dark elves. I... All this time, I thought the dark elves... Were... I thought all the dark elves were... Tear? Yes? We helped the wrong side. Hmm. Are you certain that's the right question? I... What's the right question? Is there a right side? Exactly. What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this war? I... I don't know. Then perhaps you shouldn't pick one. <laughs> there it is. Ah, you all made it. Welcome. At your service. The giants always did enjoy hiding their secrets in plain sight. Wait until you see this. Ah, yes. Here we have Groa's search for her missing husband. She was relentless in her attempt to find him. Meditated for weeks on end. Unfortunately, she found... something else. A vision of Ragnarok. Word of Groa's vision reached Odin. He sought her out. Demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he heard, apparently. Ironwood? That's the... I don't know what that is. The mythical sanctuary for giants. Curious. So it's in Jotunheim? I know some giants thought so, but Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical paradise. It's not real. Presumably, Groa requested her ashes be returned to Jotunheim, while her soul found peace in the light. Difficult to imagine Odin respecting those wishes. Hmm. The champion? I think it's supposed to be... Me. You assume too much. Aye. Best not to read into these abstractions so literally. Prophecies are slippery by nature. Although, some are more obvious than others. Ragnarok. Aye. The end of everything. So this is it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. There must be a way. Why else is this hidden? Look, Tyr. This is what we saw. It's you. Fighting in Ragnarok. No. I don't... I can't. What's this then? That's new. Asgard is destroyed? But the other realms thrive? She did. <laughs> Odin's working off a false prophecy. <laughs> so then, we can win Ragnarok. We can beat Odin. We are not present in any of this. But that was Tyr leading the charge against Asgard. 
supplies. Hell's army was there. And the elves. Champion. Okay. Whoever that is, doesn't matter. But for the first time, we know something Odin doesn't. We just saw we can win. Tyr? I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. But, but we just saw No, you. Atreus. This is wrong. Come. There is much to discuss. We can't stop Ragnarok, but we can win it. If Asgard is destroyed, Odin will not be the only casualty. There must be another way. Perhaps we should focus on our egress first. Agreed. Maybe you can throw us back at them! <laughs> Yourself the legacy this one has left for the barons. I've had far more than I can stomach. We do not need to rush. We should see this desert for ourselves. Look, I know we can't trust prophecy, but I'm not sure we should just ignore what we saw either. We are not ignoring it. We will discuss it back home. For now. I wish to search for the wounded animal you heard earlier. You? Really? Yes. Well, okay then. Good. Yeah, lead the way. Father, is it always moral to kill something that's trying to kill you? Yes. Well, there you have it, lad. Hail, fellow travelers. Whatever you need. Boy, I'm glad this axe is in your hands. I am, as always, at your service. I knew we'd left something behind. Tears had enough time to uh, find his equilibrium, or whatever. Indeed. I saw flashes of the old god of war in him, but they were fleeting. 
There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I suppose that's fair. Never can be quite sure what the Giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jotunheim? If the Giants saw Tyr leading armies at Ragnarok, then I believe them. The question is how you'll ever make Tyr believe it. Master Kratos, I would speak with you. Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes and I will attend to your needs. Would you care to take a practice throw? <laughs> a magnificent throw, Master Kratos. Truly a seasoned pro. Very well. You know how to reach me now. Now, what else might there be to discuss? Ah, glad to see Come help me, won't you? Oh, sure. We can eat whenever you like, Kratos. The stew will only improve with time. Glad you're in a better mood. Yes. I was a little overwhelmed before. Forgive me. Address. Eat. Oh, careful, careful. Thank you. Mm. Enjoy. Enjoy, my friends. Yeah. We'll see about that. Here you are, a meal fit for a champion. Enough. I said we would speak no more of that. Yes, of course. No. Didn't mean to offend. Uh, I'm not offended. It's just a word. The word didn't cloud your judgment. So, you really don't think it means anything? After the journey Mom sent us on? Everything we saw in Jotunheim? What was it all for? Don't you ever think about that? Every day. But I cannot believe her purpose was to inspire you to take foolish risks. But what if the giants are counting on me? What giants? I'm counting on you. To be safe. To be smart. But... Use the judgment of a man and not of a child. But what if Loki going to Ironwood is the only way that- Oh, oh Atreus. My son. And nothing more. Do you hear me? I'm not hungry anymore. Forgive me, Kratos. My words were chosen carelessly. <laughs> You really should eat. Some people swear by it on almost a daily basis. I just don't understand. Why is there all this stuff about Loki and, and the champion and Ironwood if none of it's real? He's just so... Ugh! Mind if I give you the best advice you've heard all day, and possibly ever? Sleep. That's when all the troubles of your mind work themselves out. Sure. Fine. Sleep? Sounds great. I mean it. I do too. Get out of here, Heidi. Already gone.
Okay. What are you? I wish I had known I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. What's going on? Is that a mask? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Where am I? It's all you ever talk about, over and over. Feel something about it or shut up or it. Little people's little We're problems. We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems. Memories. And not nice ones. You broke the gate! That was our only way to Yonan! What do you want? Let's go! Druma! I don't understand! Whatever. 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 Hey! Whatever. Don't run off! Whatever. whatever. Can whatever. you tell me whatever. where I whatever. am? Whatever. 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 Will you stop? <sighs> ah! <sighs> I gotta get out of here. should pay for what he said about mother. Oh. But we're God. We oh. can do whatever this. we want. Please, please wait. Please. Oh. Uh. This is a much better knife than mother's. Please stop! Where are you going? <coughs> Follow you? Okay. Guess I'll see you around the other side. <coughs> Where am I? Can you understand me? Oh. Hi there. So, where are we going? <coughs> Got it. I was having the weirdest dream and just kind of woke up here. Is this Ironwood? <coughs> Any idea how I got here? <coughs> I dreamt my way here? I mean, suppose I must have. I'm here. What scent? 
Oh, that might be Fenrir you're smelling. Wish he were here to meet you. <laughs> There's a lot of you, huh? What's that smell? The air here, it's... I don't know. Sweeter? Maybe it's these trees. Ah! <laughs> you tell me if you were gonna eat me. <laughs> That's a joke, right? I've never seen a forest like this before. Through here? I'm not finished with it yet. <gasps> the pain is made from the bark of the ironwood trees. They absorb the memories of the forest so that the paint remembers too. Memories of the past. Of the future. I'd hate to get blood on it. Oh, it's really you. Uh, you know who I am? What's wrong? I've been... Waiting my whole life for this moment. Huh. You look weirder than I imagined. Oh. Sorry. <sighs> um, was that mean? Kind of. Damn it. I'm already messing this up. <laughs> it's just you're the first person that I've talked to in a very long time. And weird can be good. Uh, thanks. Let's start over. I'm Angravoda. You must have a lot of questions. Uh, yeah. Where Follow are me. We? You'll get your answers soon enough. Well, some of them. When you said you knew.